friends, it's Amy. I'm in the studio and I thought today it'd be fun to share with you the different ways I edit my Instagram photos. I know that there's plenty of apps out there that are great for different things, but I just want to show you how I edit my photos. So let's get started. I love sharing bits and pieces of both my personal life and work stuff on Instagram. You'll notice the mix is pretty colorful and vibrant for the most part. I'm a fan of the really white backgrounds if I can achieve them, and there are several apps I've found that help me get the bright and happy feed I love. An app I've used and loved for years is PicTap Go. As you can see while I'm scrolling through my photos, I tend to take multiples of the same thing, and then I go in and choose the best one to edit. I found that even in perfect lighting conditions, photo apps really help brighten and tweak the picture. It can be a time-consuming process, but one of the reasons PicTap Go is my go-to app is that you can easily preview results and even save your own recipes. Since I often shoot in the same scenarios, for example, in the shade using daylight, I've saved the steps as a named recipe so it's easier to edit with just a click. Though it seems to be looking a little blown out in the video, there are several recipes I can choose from, and it looks like the one I've named Pop It might be the best. Overall, the colors seem true and vibrant, and the background looks to be pretty white. So I can go ahead and hit Go and Save to Camera Roll. It's that easy if you've already got recipes created. Now let's take a look at how I would edit the same photo using filters. These are all the filters that came with the app when I purchased it for $1.99. Seeing the previews all together really helps gauge which ones I want to use. I typically start with a lights on filter. You can easily adjust it using the slider at the bottom depending on how much of the filter you want applied. Right about there looks pretty good, so then you can scroll down and see if you want to add any more. Auto color looks like it helps the true color shine through. If I could sing, I would break out into that Cindy Lauper line, but I can't. Next it looks like Fofi, I think that's how you pronounce it, looks good and adjusting it about halfway looks perfect. Then, the last one I usually finish with is Air. You can also do this to the screen to see the previous rendition. Once you feel like you're done, just hit Go. I like to save it to my camera roll first, and then I'll show you how you can just tap the Instagram crop option and then hit Copy to Instagram. The app will automatically take you to this screen where you can edit using their filters, which I don't usually do. So that's Pick Tap Go. Next, let's look at my newest favorite app called A Color Story. It's developed by Elsie and Emma from A Beautiful Mess. I've been using it for about a month or so, and it's really become my favorite app because it's been really fun to play around with. It's free in the App Store, and because I love the free ones it came with, I purchased more in the app. Right now, the Essentials and Good Vibes packs are free, so let's use those. You can scroll across and preview the filters, and I love that it has the slider option as well to decrease the intensity. I've chosen Pop and hit the check mark, and now scrolling across, it looks like Sharp is great, so I'll adjust it, and then when I'm happy with the amount, hit the check mark again. You can also just tap and preview what it would look like in the large photo without committing. Light bright looks nice, but since I'm unsure, I can leave it up, but then select the Good Vibes pack to see if there's something better. Here's a close up of Mimosa, which looks pretty nice, so I will check mark that. So once you're done, go ahead and hit the Done button in the top right, hit Save and Finish. You can also save your editing steps similar to recipes from PicTap Go and see the actual percentages for each filter. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that, although the items are actually my crafty supplies, I'm naming it Jack's Toys. No idea why, but I know the effect I was going for and that's what actually came to mind first. So then I can go ahead and fill that in and hit save. Since we want to edit more photos, just hit return to editing and start over. Now let's choose a different photo and apply our saved steps to it. Once the app opens up, you'll see the saved option, click that, then click my saved. Scroll through to find it and then click. How easy was that? It looks bright and the colors are true, so I'll hit the check mark and then I'll hit done and finally save and finish. 
I've just applied the same steps for this photo, which will be seen in an upcoming video. Then I want to show you that you can just hit Instagram and the same thing happens. You can copy to Instagram and then post away. I've opened up the before and after images and put them next to one another in pick frame so you can really see the difference. The last app is called Facetune. Many beauty vloggers seem to love this app for retouching their faces and skin, but I don't use it for that at all. The one thing I use it for is whitening a background. See how white this background is while the colors are vibrant and not washed out? That's the look that can be achieved. Going into my camera roll, I'm going to select a photo that needs some whitening. Here is a crafty photo from my upcoming Miami video where I'm just going to choose whiten and then quickly I've sped up this video double time and you can see that I'm just kind of rubbing my finger along to make that section whiter. You can play with this for a while and once you're done hit the check mark. Here you can better see where I whitened it at the top. Really hope you've enjoyed seeing the different ways I edit photos on my iPhone 6. While there are plenty of other apps in my phone that I use on occasion as well, like Little Moments and ViscoCam, my go-to photo editing apps right now are PicTap Go, A Color Story, and Facetune. What are your go-to apps for photo editing? Or do you have tips and tricks that you want to share? Leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you. If you haven't already, please subscribe and share this video with a friend. Feel free to also follow along on Instagram. I'm Amy Tangerine there as well. I've linked all the apps I've mentioned below in the description box. Hope you feel inspired to keep those creative juices flowing. Thank you so much and I will talk to you soon. So that was a lot of fun. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. All right, thank you so much for watching. Washing? Thanks so much for watching.